Okay, so photography, camera gear, it's an expensive hobby, right? Like there's no getting around that. Every time I wanna upgrade something or buy something new, I feel like I have to sell an arm and a leg. So it's nice sometimes when you get a good deal. A friend of mine sent me a link to Best Buy and I haven't opened this by the way for the record but I saw that it was $9.99 and I didn't even look at what it was. I, I kind of just bought it because seriously how often do you get something for 10 bucks that's photography related. So I figured we could open it together and you know see if I actually got my money's worth. Did I was the 10 bucks worth it or am I kind of just just out 10 bucks now um, and if you guys maybe want to have a challenge or something you know leave a comment below what's the best photography deal or like the cheapest gear that you ever bought that you felt like was actually worth it but anyways let's get into it this is an advanced camera accessory kit by insignia so hopefully you guys can see that I'm just gonna let it focus but yeah hey it's it's gotta be good, right? It has the word advanced in it. Right here. It's right there. It's an advanced camera accessory kit. Advanced. Okay, anyways, let's get into this bad boy. So, so the first thing in the box is this lens cleaning kit. Now, some of you might already have one of these. Um, I don't, I get my lenses and my sensor cleaned by professionals, but that's just because I'm lazy and I've been needing to start doing it myself. So I don't have one of these, so that's pretty good. I also did a quick search on Amazon. So one of these like basic cleaning kits usually costs like 20 bucks. So we're already $10 up. I feel like I've already gotten my money's worth, but let's see what's inside here. Um, it comes in this carrying pouch. So that's pretty dope, you know, keeps everything together. You can just toss it in your camera bag. You can look a little bit more advanced as a camera photographer by carrying this around. Um, anyways, let's get inside it. So it has, okay, let me just take the packaging off this. Okay, so it has this lens cleaning pen. So basically like a brush comes out of it and hopefully you guys can see that. And you kind of just use that to clean your lenses. Yeah, so that's cool. I don't have this, um, definitely useful. The next thing in this lens cleaning kit is this dust blower. And yeah, pretty self-explanatory. You use this to kind of blow the dust off your lenses and your sensor. So yeah, again, useful. I didn't have one of these before. I was getting someone else to clean my cameras. So this has the value for me. And also it's kind of fun to play with. The next thing in this cleaning kit is this liquid cleaning solution. This is Insignia branded. So you can use this to spray the solution onto your lenses and sensors and stuff just so you have the right solution on them and then you start cleaning it. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Again, nice that they include this so you don't have to go buy it separately. It also comes with these tissue papers for lenses and cameras and stuff. So they're specifically made for them so you don't have to use like actual tissue paper because like, you know, sometimes when you use like, like paper towel or toilet paper or anything like that to kind of wipe your lenses that has like that little paper residue or that paper trail and that's from the tissue paper just breaking down. So these are specifically meant for cameras and there's 50 sheets. So that's pretty useful to come in handy sometimes when you're cleaning your camera or whatever. And finally in the cleaning kit, you have this microfiber cloth. So yeah, again, self-explanatory. You can wipe your lens kind of like this when it's when it's dirty and it's much better than using your shirt, which is kind of what I sometimes do. Just don't tell anybody about that, okay? <laughs> okay, so that's it for the cleaning kit. So pretty useful in my opinion. Um, let's see what else is in this box. So let me just grab the next item. So next up we have, um, so these look like, what are these? Let me just take a quick look. Okay, so these are LCD cover screens, so kind of like a screen protector. Um, so you peel it off from the back and then you kind of cut to like the size of your LCD screen and then you put them on top. Um, I would personally never buy this or never even think to buy this. Um, so for me, this is, this is kind of a waste. I'm never going to use this. So in terms of value that I got from this, we're going to put it at zero. 
Okay, so next up we have this lens cap keeper and I don't know if you guys can really see because it's really, really small. But basically the idea is, is that it goes around your lens like this and then this part has like 3M tape on the back. So you kind of stick this to the front of the cap. So when the cap is off your lens, it's attached to this and it's kind of just hanging off. So you don't lose your lenses like that. But for me, I feel like this would kind of just be more of an annoyance than something that's helpful because like if you're trying to, you know, like take photos with your camera, you just have your lens dangling around like that can get really annoying. So cool thing to kind of have, but would I ever use it? Probably not. So in terms of value, I'm unfortunately going to give this another um, zero dollars. Okay, so next up we have this memory card case and it has the Insignia branding on it. And if you open it up, you can see that it has a bunch of slots for regular SD and micro SD cards. And the value of a basic one like this on Amazon is like 10 bucks. Um, and honestly, you can never have enough of these, especially for someone who shoots a lot and you have a lot of memory cards, it's just a good way to keep everything organized. So I'm definitely gonna be using this. And th this is a little bit better than the basic ones, but honestly, I don't know how much this one costs. So I'll just add like, $10 of value to the overall total. So, so far with the cleaning kit and the memory card case, we're at like 30 bucks of value, which is pretty good. Okay, so I'm not gonna open this up, but next up we have some wiring and it's basically just an HDMI cable with an adapter for a micro USB, which I appreciate because not all cameras have USB-C. Um, the one that I'm currently using, it does have USB-C, but for those of you that are still using cameras that don't have that compatibility, you can use this HDMI cable with the adapter to hook up like an external monitor or hook up to a TV or something or whatever using this cable. So this is pretty useful. Again, I looked it up on Amazon. Um, they cost around 10 bucks. Not sure how much the adapter by itself is, but I'm okay to add 10 bucks of value for something like this. I think this is pretty useful and something that'll come in handy from time to time depending on what you use it for and if you're the type of person that likes to plug into external monitors. So yeah, 10 bucks of pretty decent value. Okay, so next up we have this dongle that's kind of shaped like a USB stick, um, but basically it supports uh, full SD cards and micro SD. Um, unfortunately, it's USB 3.0 and I'm in the phase where I'm trying to move everything to USB-C just because it's faster, it's more universal and also my MacBook actually doesn't even have any USB 3.0 slots anymore so it's really annoying to use something like this. So I can see this being useful for somebody else but for me personally, I'm never going to use this. I'm just going to stick to my USB-C dongles. Um, so in terms of value that this adds for me, I'm gonna leave it at zero dollars. Okay, so next up we have a camera shutter remote and these are super, super useful if you ever wanna take self portraits or anything like that. You know, you can leave your camera there, set up your composition, walk away and then just press this remote to take the picture. Um, my camera actually has Wi-Fi compatibility so I actually use my smartphone and the Canon app um, as a remote to take images. Um, obviously this is way smaller than my phone though so I can see that being kind of useful but overall i've grown pretty accustomed to using my phone as the camera's remote so i personally probably wouldn't use this but i can see this being very very useful for a lot of photographers and filmmakers that might not have one or maybe they have an older camera that doesn't have wi-fi compatibility where you can use your phone as the remote this is super super useful and they cost around 10 bucks or 15 bucks on Amazon based on what I saw. So really, really useful item overall. But for me personally, it doesn't really add any value just because I use my phone. So as a personal score, I'm gonna give it zero dollars. But if you don't have one or you don't have this kind of compatibility in your camera, I highly suggest that you guys go out and get one because they are really, really cool. And finally, we have this bubble camera level. And honestly, I had to Google if anyone actually uses these. They cost about like 10 to $15 on Amazon, depending on how much you get in a pack. But seriously, do people actually use this? I didn't even know this existed until I bought this box. Like I honestly had no clue. So if you're somebody that uses one of these, drop a comment below because I need to know why. 
because like all modern cameras have like grid lines and like levels and stuff like that and you can frame your composition yourself or like adjust it a little bit by like rotating or whatever and post like there are so many ways to get around not having to use this bubble level and having to put it in the hot shoe in your camera on the top like i would honestly feel so ridiculous if i had this in that hot shoe slot on top of my camera and I was just walking around trying to make sure that everything is level because yeah honestly i am never going to use this and if you use this i really want to hear from you because i just need to know why um but yeah anyways it goes without saying this adds zero zero dollars of value for me and that's it that's everything inside the box so if we tally up all the totals of the value that i felt like i was able to attain by purchasing this box we're at like 40 bucks i think okay yes i did the math off camera and we're at 40 dollars. so yeah that's good anyways i spent 10 bucks to get this 40 dollars of value so i'm kind of 30 bucks up the way i see it so i'm pretty pleased with this purchase and hey i guess it proves that it is possible to get useful camera gear and camera accessories for cheap sometimes it it does happen it's not impossible and that's it for this video guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed that um if you want to see me unbox more cheap camera stuff or other camera accessories and stuff you know what to do like the video smash that like button subscribe to the channel all that um that's all i have for this video though we're done with this one um i'll see you guys in the next one and until then keep creating